MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello, dear colleagues. This is Mohammed Abdel Ghani Sadiq, co founder and instructor of MRKM OSCE course. Today, I will speak about knee joint examination, which is one of the most frequently appearing stations in the MRKM OSCE exam. Once you get inside the room, wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient, confirm his identity and age, and offer painkiller if needed. Also, ask for exposure, ask for chabron, and give an open question to just know the circumstances regarding his presentation. Then you need to start your uh, knee joint examination by assessing the patient uh, gait. And if the patient is limping, uh, show empathy, go to him and hold his hand and help him to come back to, to the couch. Meanwhile, you can also assess, uh, start the inspection while the patient is standing because, because this is a great opportunity to have a look to the anterior, lateral and posterior aspects of the knee. And mention that uh, if there is any obvious deformity, if there is any scars, laceration, bruises or muscle wasting. Then ask the patient to lie down over the couch and now it's the turn to do palpation. We start by checking temperature. Please, wh whenever you would like to touch a joint, start by checking the temperature. Then assess for tenderness and be systematic and speak while you are doing the examination so that it will be clear to the examiner what are you doing right now. I will mention that I'm checking for tenderness over the quadriceps tendon, then over the patella, then over the patellar tendon, then over the tibial tuberosity, then over the joint line, and also I would like uh, to assess for tenderness over the head of the fibula, and over I will assess the back of the knee by palpation for any tenderness or swelling. Then assess for any joint effusion and we have two tests to elicit, uh, to, uh, elicit this uh, sign. We have the uh, patellar tap and this is done first by your other hand try to bring uh, all the fluid from the uh, thigh down to the knee by doing like milking uh, movement and then by your other hand try to tap over the patella push it down and if it's floating this is positive patellar tap and this means that there is joint effusion the other test is also while doing the milking uh, movement over the uh, lower thigh by one hand Try to displace the fluid. This is the, the fluid displacement test. Displace the fluid to the other side of the knee. So try to move the fluid by from one side to the other side by uh, your hand. So we have two tests for joint effusion, which is the patellar tap and fluid displacement test. Then do the patellar apprehension test and this is done by doing mild uh, flexion to the knee and then do uh, uh, apply lateral pressure over the uh, over the patella try to move the patella laterally and just monitor or watch the patient face uh, expression if the patient suddenly has developed severe pain, this is positive test for patellar apprehension test. And it means that this patient likely has patellar 
dislocation or subluxation that reduce spontaneously. Lastly, in palpation, don't forget to assess the extensor mechanism that sometimes uh, if the patient developed direct uh, injury to the knee, he might develop rupture to the um, extensor tendon, the quadriceps tendon. And this is uh, considered uh, an emergency, orthopedic emergency, and he needs immediate orthopedic assessment. So ask the patient to hang his leg uh, down the couch and ask him to do extension for the knee. Please provide a painkiller, appropriate painkiller, before um, in, uh, confirming that this is positive sign. Then now, uh, let us move to movement. And here we have only flexion and extension of the knee two movements only so let the patient do the active one and then uh, do it passively yourself for the patient now we will come to the important part which is the special tests it's very easy and you can uh, easy uh, it's relatively easy to to be remembered as well so we have the medial and lateral collateral ligament stretch tests it's clear and obvious how are you going to do it just uh, to test for the medial collateral ligament uh, test you need to apply valgus uh, pressure over the leg while maintaining the other hand over the femur and for lateral collateral ligament, you need to do various uh, stretch tests. Then uh, come and assess the anterior and posterior drawer tests. Anterior drawer tests for anterior cruciate ligament injury and posterior drawer test for posterior cruciate ligament injury. And then do the Lachman test. And this is done by uh, this is test for the anterior cruciate ligament injury so ask the patient or help him to make uh, mild flexion at about 20 to 30 percent of the knee and then push from the anterior aspect of the thigh down and at the same time pull from the upper part of the leg upward to assess for the integrity of the knee if you feel that the joint is lax, then this might indicate anterior cruciate ligament injury. And complete the special test of the knee by uh, doing the McMurray test to assess for any um, medial or lateral meniscal injuries. McMurray, you will do first flexion of the knee and then do lateral uh, rotation uh, external rotation of the foot and then gradually extend the knee and put your hand over the medial aspect of the knee joint if the patient feels pain and or there is click with tenderness that means this patient might have medial meniscus injury and then repeat uh, the test again while applying uh, internal rotation of the foot and full flexion of the hip and then gradually extend, uh, sorry, full flexion of the knee, and then gradually extend the knee, and if the patient develop bend uh, and tenderness, and or uh, you feel click over the lateral aspect of the knee joint, uh, that might indicate uh, lateral meniscal injury. By now, we completed the local joint examination, so mention that you would like to examine the joint above and joint below, that is the hip joint and ankle joint and also you would like to do complete neurovascular examination of the lower limb then uh, thank the patient inform him that you completed your assessment and check that uh, he is comfortable and then uh, you can discuss with help him to get dressed again and then discuss with him about the management plan if you need to do 
an x-ray for example or you just think this is a uh, knee sprain and no uh, need for an x-ray and remember that while assessing the patient please try to uh, assess for the Ottawa knee rules sometimes the um, indication for x-ray for the knee just will be elicited from that calculation so Ottawa knee rules that uh, that is if the patient age more than 55 when the patient needs x-ray if the age more than 55 if there is isolated tenderness over the patella or isolated tenderness over the head of fibula and if the patient cannot flex the knee up to 90 degrees and if he cannot walk uh, four steps uh, both immediately and the emergency department so this is um, again a straightforward station and it's very easy thank you very much see you soon